Hola zagalicos y zagalicas y bienvenidos al canal del holandés errante. Hoy es jueves, jueves de juegos gratis en el portal de Epic Game. ¿Y qué nos regalan hoy? Pues Homeworld remasterizado, edición completa, juego de estrategia espacial muy, muy, muy chulo. Y bueno, marcó un antes en este tipo de juegos. La verdad es que está, es un juego genial. Yo lo tengo, yo lo tengo en Steam. Pero bueno, la edición remasterizada tiene muy buena pinta. Vamos a hacer el tutorial y vamos a disfrutar con un juego de estrategia que vale 32 euros y que nos regala durante esta semana Epic Game. Así que reclámalo, haz lo tuyo y lo tendrás para siempre en tu biblioteca de Epic Game. Bueno, vamos a introducir a Homegold Remastered. Un titular, un tu, el tutorial trata del control de la cámara, la selección. Vale, empezamos. Manejo elemental. Welcome to the Homeworld Training Mission. This tutorial will cover the user interface, camera control, unit selection and movement. Our first priority is the taskbar. The taskbar provides you with a variety of information about what you currently have selected and provides you easy access to basic commands. You can minimize the taskbar by clicking on the flashing icon or pressing backspace. Do this now. de tareas no, esto no es objetivos lo será esto no to bring the task ah, back keep pressing backspace do this good now. job the recall window displays all previous speech in the mission Click on the recall icon to display all previous speech in the mission. To exit the recall window, click close. Throughout the game, objectives will be assigned to you. Objectives give you information on what you must accomplish in each mission. Click OK. Bye. You have just been issued a new no objective. objective. Good job. This is the objectives screen. Click the learn how to play homeworld objective to get more information on it. To exit the objective screen, click on the close button. Report. To issue orders, you must first select the ships you want to command. Click OK to continue. Vale. Left click on the scouts to Qué select them. Nave, no? Reporting. Scouts selected. New reinforcements available. A second scout squadron is launching. To select multiple squadrons, first hold down the left mouse button and then drag a box around both scout squadrons. Do this now. This is called drag selecting. Ready. Ready. Standing by. Docking with carrier. Acknowledged. Docking with carrier. Ah, ambos grupos. Standing by. Docking signal green. Lo voy a sacar. Standing by. Y otra vez para fuera. Copy. Excellent work. Click OK. Notice that the taskbar has been updated with your selection. Sí. The taskbar lists all currently selected ships. Sí. Ships can be selected by left clicking, drag selecting, and by clicking on the ship icon in the taskbar. In order to master space combat, you must first learn esto, how to control sí no, the camera. No, 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 no. At this point, the camera is focused on a squadron of scouts. Hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse ah, to mira. rotate the camera. Do this now. Excellent work. Click OK to continue. Continue practicing camera rotation. When you are ready to move on, to zoom the camera, scroll the mouse wheel or hold down both mouse buttons while moving the mouse forwards and backwards. Practice camera zooming. Que 
objetivos. Hacer zoom con la cámara. Good work. When you are ready to continue, click OK. To pan the camera, move the mouse cursor to the edge of the screen. Do this now. Excellent work. Click OK. The arrow keys on the keyboard also pan the camera. Now, pan the camera until the scouts are no longer in view. Good work. Click OK to continue, or keep practicing camera panning. To focus the camera on a ship, press the middle mouse button or use the focus key. This snaps the camera to the currently selected ship, in this case, the scouts. Excellent work. To focus on an unselected ship, hold down the Alt key and left click on the object. Try this now. The next topic is the Sensors Manager. To activate the Sensors Manager, press Spacebar or click on the Sensors icon on the taskbar. The Sensors Manager allows you to see the game world from a much greater distance and is used for strategic movement and command of ships. Click OK. The two green dots represent the two scout squadrons. From the Sensors Manager, you can see distant objects such as these asteroids. The Sensors Manager also displays objective information. Clip camera control and ship selection work as normal in the Sensors Manager. All ships have a tactical overlay, or TO for short. TOs help identify friendly and enemy targets. Click OK to continue. Friendly ships will have green TOs. Enemy targets will have red TOs. Allies have yellow TOs. Click OK to continue. Tab cycles through all various TO settings. Some settings display more information than others. We will now cover ship movement. To effectively command your fleet, you must learn... First, select a scout squadron. Now, right-click on this group of asteroids to issue a right-click move command. Well done! Right-click movement orders a ship to move to a specified landmark, for example, another ship, an asteroid, or a piece of debris. Remember, you can rotate and zoom the camera while issuing a move command. Click OK to continue. The scouts have reached their destination. Ships can also be moved to any point in space. Click OK. To use the movement disk, right-click on empty space or press the movement hotkey, M. Do this now. Good work. The movement disk represents the current plane the selected unit is on. Right-click on a desired location to issue a move order. The ship will now move to its target destination. The next lesson will cover vertical movement. While right-click movement covers most situations, vertical movement is needed to gain tactical advantages. Click OK to continue. Bring up the sensors manager. A nivel gráfico se ve guapísimo todo. Ready. Moving to destination. New heading set. Me he quedado que me ha pedido. Espacio. Notice the ping on the map is above the world plane. The world plane is the horizontal disk at the center of the map. Click OK to continue. To use vertical movement, first select a ship. Copy. Now bring up the movement disk by right-clicking on empty space or pressing the movement hotkey. To raise or lower the destination point, hold down the left mouse button and move the mouse up or down. Order one of your ships to move to the ping on the map using the 3D movement.
standing by. Setting drives to idle. Course deleted. Resetting navigation. Bueno, pues no sé cómo seguir esto. Hay que repasarlo detenidamente. Oh, está chulo. Está muy chulo. A nivel gráfico es una auténtica pasada. Pero hay que tener en cuenta, pues eso, que, que hay que estudiar un poquito para saberlo manejar, ¿vale? Pero el juego está muy chulo. En fin, gente, lo tenemos gratis en Epic Games. Espero que os guste, os haya gustado el vídeo. También todo lo que he hecho. Hay cosas que todavía no sé controlar. Pero nada, espero que me dejéis un buen like, comentarios y, por supuesto, si no estáis suscritos al canal, suscribiros para no perderos absolutamente nada. Un abrazo muy grande a todos. No dudéis en enviar este juego que es muy bueno. Un abrazo grande. Bye bye.